Welcome to the lecture series of High Voltage Engineering. In this session, I will be discussing about Capacitive Voltage Transformer or you can call CVT. So let us discuss what is Capacitive Voltage Transformer or CVT. The Capacitive Voltage Transformer step down the high voltage input signals and provide low voltage signals which can easily measure through necessary instruments such as electrostatic voltmeter. It is also known as capacitive potential transformer. The main purpose of capacitive voltage transformer is to measure the voltage above 100 kV. One more important information. It is possible to measure high voltage by using instrument transformer such as CT or PT. But the main problem is, if you wanted to measure the voltage above 100 kV, we need to provide very much high amount of insulation on that particular instrument transformers. That is not economically feasible. So that is why we are mainly depending on capacitive voltage transformer or you can call a CVT. A CVT comprises of number one, potential divider and number two, resonance circuit and number three, electrostatic voltmeter. These are the three segments of capacitive voltage transformer. So now let us discuss the circuit diagram of capacitive voltage transformer and let me explain how you can measure high voltage by using capacitive voltage transformer. Consider the circuit diagram of capacitive voltage transformer which is shown over here. Uh, it comprises of voltage divider. So this is basically capacitive potential divider. Then second one is resonance circuit. This will, be, this will act as a resonance circuit and we will be having the metering unit. Let us explain how capacitive voltage transformer measures high voltage. The total high voltage, it will be above 100 kV. The total high voltage will be divided with the help of capacitive voltage divider. Here, this segment from here to here, that means C1, this belongs to high voltage arm. From this point to ground, this belongs to low voltage arm. Regarding the value of capacitance, for high voltage arm, the value of capacitance is very less. Why? Because it is connected in serial fashion. Therefore, high voltage will come across this particular arm. Now, regarding the low voltage arm, you can observe here, the value of capacitance are high. It maintains less impedance path. Therefore, low voltage will be coming across this particular point. The main function of this inductor, number one, there will be always voltage drop in the transformer. So there is an isolation transformer or you can call auxiliary transformer which is placed over here to maintain the insula to maintain the insulation between or to maintain the isolation between input, uh, input side and output side. Otherwise uh, the meter will be getting damaged. Therefore, to reduce the voltage drop of this transformer, just like a compensation, so we'll be using the we'll be choosing the value of inductor. I'll be telling you how to select the value of inductor thereafter. So it will maintain a suitable compensation for this auxiliary transformer. That's the primary function. The next function is, as we can observe, this is basically a capacitive circuit. And regarding the meter device, that is basically a resistive circuit. So there, there will be a feasibility or there will be a possibility of getting inverted output at electrostatic voltmeter. That inverted output is not desirable uh, for the measurement that you know. Uh, therefore, to get a normal output, we will be using one inductor. We will be selecting suitable value of inductor such a way that you will be getting the normal output. In spite of getting inverted output, we will be getting the normal output if you choose the proper value of L. These are the two functions of the inductor. Moreover, uh, to maintain the suitable resonance condition, we need to choose the proper value of inductor over here. This is basically a resonance circuit which I said a bit early. In order to maintain resonance condition, you need to follow this equation. That means omega into L plus LT. That is equal to 1 by omega into C1 plus C2. So this is the actually the resonance condition. Here omega is known as angular frequency. It is expressed in terms of radian per second. L is the value of inductor in terms of Henry and LT is the value of this auxiliary transformer and C1 and C2 the value of high voltage and low voltage capacitance respectively and here omega is known as uh, angular frequency in terms of radian per second. 
So this is the resonance condition. It should be followed properly while designing uh, the CVT. You need to make sure that the circuit is following resonance conditions or not. You have to design uh, based on the resonance condition. Now, how to calculate the value of this inductor? As I told early that these are this inductor is having two functions to maintain suitable compensation for the transformer we are going to use inductor. Second option is to get the proper output that means to avoid the inverted output we are mainly using for inductor. So these are the two functions for this inductor. Now how will you calculate the value of uh, inductance? So you can use the formula uh, L is equal to 1 divided by omega square into C1 plus C2. It will be in terms of Henry. Uh, omega is actually in terms of gradient per second. It is basically angular frequency. And C1, C2, these are the values of high voltage and low voltage capacitance. Okay. So this is the way how to calculate uh, the value of inductance. Okay. So inductor should be chosen uh, so after the calculation. It can be adjustable. So you need to maintain the suitable value of inductor and it can be tunable. You have to, it can be tuned. Inductor value can be tuned. I would like to ask one more question. Is there any relationship between primary and secondary side of this transformer? Yes, there is a relation. That means V0 by V in. That means this is actually V0 and voltage across this point is uh, V in. So V0 by V in can be written as C2 divided by C2 plus C1 based on the capacitive potential divider C2 divided by C2 plus C1 into N2 divided by N1 that is a turns ratio uh, actually the value of C2 divided by C2 plus C1 will be less okay this is the relation between primary and the secondary side of auxiliary transformer that you can directly note down this will be helpful for uh, designing of uh, CVT in power system right now I would like to explain name plate details of CVT. Uh, the following parameters need to be considered for deciding the nameplate rating of CVT. The first parameter is the total output simultaneous. It is expressed in terms of 100 VA. This is one example of CVT. Uh, we will be expressing in terms of apparent power. That is why it is 100 VA. Then output maximum 750 VA at 50 degrees Celsius. It is an ambient temperature or we can call atmospheric temperature. Then the rated voltage, that means phase voltage, A, A, A to N means phase voltage, then 220 divided by root 3 kV. So this is that uh, this is the rated voltage of that particular CVT. Then higher system voltage will be 245 divided by root 3 kV. That's the overall system voltage. Then insulation level has to be mentioned. That is 460 divided by 1050 kV. So that's the insulation level. Then the rated frequency is 50 Hz. Uh, nominal voltage. That is equal to 20 divided by root 3 kV. The value of high frequency capacitance, uh, it is equal to 4400 picofarad and this is the range of tolerance. And similarly primary capacitance C1, that is high voltage capacitance, that is equal to 4840 picofarad and uh, the tolerance equal to plus 10 percentage to 5 percentage. Similarly regarding the low voltage capacitance or secondary capacitance, that is equal to 48400 picofarad. So this is the range of tolerance. These are the parameters we need to express while writing the uh, nameplate details of capacitive voltage transformer. Right now I would like to discuss advantages and disadvantages of uh, capacitive voltage transformer. Moving on to advantages. Uh, design is very much simple and uh, it is very easy to install. Similarly, capacitive voltage transformer can be used for power line carrier communication and relaying operation and and also it provides the isolation between input and output there is no uh, chance of getting short circuited and this is one of the positive remark regarding uh, capacity voltage transformer uh, let me explain about drop some drawbacks there are few drawbacks which is causing in capacity voltage transformer such as uh, voltage ratio is uh, susceptible for temperature variation the main drawback of capacity voltage transformer Similarly, in power system, one of the main uh, phenomenon which is occurring that is known as furrow resonance. That furrow resonance will be occurring in uh, capacitive voltage transformer and that is also one of the negative, another negative remark for capacitive voltage transformer. So these are the two drawbacks of uh, capacitive voltage transformer. However, as compared to instrument transformers, 
if we wanted to go for measurement of 100 kV, uh, the capacitive voltage transformer is more feasible. Why? Because uh, we can save the insulation level uh, at a particular transformer. So that is one of the positive remarks for uh, capacitive voltage transformer. So I have referred the following website. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this channel more useful, please do subscribe. Thank you.